joke is that we were able to uh, uh, teach more, uh, inform people more about the census in one episode than Washington's been able to do in 200 years, you know, so. So it's, um, uh, uh, but we don't, I don't think any one of these shows or any of the people involved believe that we are depicting reality. It's, it's fiction, um, in our case certainly it's fiction, and it's storytelling, and it happens to be set and based upon real people's um, experiences, but certainly doesn't replicate anything real. It's not a docudrama. I think this was a perfect storm of, of a cast that understood how to work together, um, how to elevate the material. The material elevated us, and, and the producers elevated the production value, and it, cre it just created a very special uh, kind of storytelling that lasted a long time um, and and hit uh, uh, as, um, hit us in the in the gut and in the heart uh, at that point in time. You know, I, you can't uh, you can't try to replicate that. You know, it just it's a perfect storm. It was a happy circumstance, um, a happy accident in many ways. I think um, I don't know how else to answer that. You know. Um, uh, it's surprising. It's surprising that pe that a new generation through Netflix is is now um, discovering us. Um, I thought that I and I was happy for it to go away. I was like, thank you. Um, and now it's time to move on. And here I am, still talking about it 15 years after we debuted. And that's kind of sad and pathetic and great all at the same time. <laughs> I just feel uh, that the culture has changed, um, and maybe you know you go back in time to find what the cause, what the what the real moment, what when the meteor hit the earth, that that changed us for good, um, and is it 9/11 or or what? But the the nature of the way we do business with each other, the nature of the way Congress does business with each other. Um, the amount of theft in, in business, the way people are suing each other, uh, Citizens United, how it's kind of killed democracy as we know it, the Supreme Court, the way it killed democracy as we know it. Um, everything has changed um, in such a way that, that um, it feels like darkness is, is, is kind of seeping in to our everyday lives. And a House of Cards, I think, is coming out of that in a, in a kind of collective consciousness kind of way, do you know what I mean, in, in the zeitgeist. And um, I think there was still a great deal of hope and a great deal of optimism coming from a, a time of peace and prosperity, which the Clinton administration certainly uh, uh, resided over. Um, one, the, their worst moment in eight years was a, a sex scandal. That's pretty good. You know, I think, I think we take that every time. I love the House of Cards. I think it's it's dynamic. It's uh, they they the stories breathe. They, there there is opportunity for truthfulness in those circumstances. The actors are great. You know, Robin Wright's doing work that you don't see. You just don't see. It's just so sophisticated and so and so, so has such great depth and 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 variety. You know, and, and in that regard, is very very truthful in its humanity. Um, and uh, I, so I, don't, I, I love it. I'm glad we're moving on to different kind of genres and styles. And, and it'll cycle back, you know, that House of Cards might also be a reaction to the West Wing. You can't do another West Wing. So well, what if we do this, you know? I mean, I think it's a natural reactionary thing as a part of the cycle.